Aloe vera, medicinally beneficial parts, how to store, and side effects. For thousands of years, people have relied on aloe vera as a medicinal plant to cure a wide range of health issues. Even whether you use vera straight from the plant or purchase it as a gel, it's generally considered safe to do so. The clear gel contained in aloe vera leaves is used in aloe vera creams, gels, and ointments. Topically, these products may be used to treat a wide range of skin issues. Aloe vera is available as a capsule or a liquid for internal consumption in order to benefit one's health and well-being. Medicinally Beneficial Components of Aloe Vera Plant The aloe vera plant has two medicinally beneficial components. First, the leaves are filled with a transparent gel. This gel is produced from the plant and is often used directly to the skin to treat burns and a variety of other skin problems. Additionally, the gel is available in liquid or capsule form for oral administration. Aloe latex is the second material produced by the plant. This is the yellow pulp that lies underneath the plant's leaf's outer surface. Aloe latex has laxative effects and is often used orally to treat constipation. Some aloe vera products are produced from the entire crushed leaf, so they include both gel and latex. The most recent development in aloe vera is the introduction of aloe vera-based beverages, such as aloe vera juice and aloe vera water. Aloe vera juice is often made by combining the plant fluids with citrus, whereas aloe vera water is made by combining the plant juices with water. Because aloe vera may have a bitter taste when consumed on its own, several companies flavor or sweeten their products. Make sure there isn't a lot of extra sugar in the bottle by reading the ingredients. How to store and check quality of aloe vera products If you're unsure about how to store your aloe vera product, check the label. Most experts agree that aloe vera gel and juice should be stored at room temperature or in the refrigerator to keep them fresher for longer. The shelf life of a product may be shortened or extended depending on factors such as humidity and temperature. As a result, aloe vera juice is often sold in amber-colored bottles. Studies have shown that the dark container helps protect the active components from degradation caused by exposure to light. When purchasing your product, there is one thing to keep an eye out for, the seal of the International Aloe Science Council, an organization that has been there since the 1980s. When you see their seal on a product, you know that the aloe vera quality and purity of the product has been thoroughly tested and verified. Potential Side Effects of Aloe Vera Products When used orally, aloe gel may be safe in small doses for short periods of time. Aloe gel has been used safely for up to 42 days at a dosage of 15 milliliters per day. In addition, a particular gel, Aloe QDM Complex Univera Incorporated has been administered safely for up to 8 weeks at a dosage of approximately 600 mg daily. Taking aloe leaf extract for a brief period of time has been shown to be safe as well. Taking aloe latex or aloe whole leaf extract by mouth may be harmful at any dosage. When eaten orally in large quantities, aloe latex is potentially harmful. Side effects from aloe latex include nausea and vomiting. Aloe latex may also cause more severe complications. Even taking 1 gram orally every day for a few days may cause severe kidney damage, and in some cases, it might be deadly. In addition, aloe latex has been shown to decrease blood glucose levels, therefore individuals with type 2 diabetes should exercise caution and consult their doctor before using it as part of their treatment plan. When used topically, aloe gel is likely harmless. Thanks for watching, if you have any queries, ask us in comment box. If you like this video, do share this video with your friends and loved ones. Check my suggestion for you as well.